Okay, today I would like to work on just how to get out of the corner with ducks. And this one's pretty straight on, so we're just going to draw back and make the cue ball come back toward us instead of playing off of rails like the other three I'm going to show you. And then I will not be shooting the eight ball. We're just going to kind of run through this. During your practice, you can shoot the eight ball in to get used to making your money ball. All right, now we're going to cut this five ball in and use the angle. We're just going to use a little bit of outside English in the center of the cue ball just to get us back onto the angle for that eight ball. And we're just going to set it up again. And now we're going to come with a little bit more of an angle. And what I have learned from my experience in watching players is that they tend to run into those three balls from time to time. And they don't realize that you can just use a nice little angle and as you cut those ducks into the pocket. Okay, we don't always have to hit the full ball to make it in the pocket. We can cut it and move that cue ball around the table for us. So here we go, we're hitting this even thinner. I'm just hitting straight center cue ball on this and we're creating the angle from our cut on that five into the pocket. And I came a little high, even though it's a reasonable shot. So I'm just gonna set it up again. I'm gonna show you one more time. I'm gonna try to hit it a little bit softer. And that's the key with these. When we are hitting less of our target ball, that cue ball is going to still keep most of its momentum. It doesn't lose as much energy as if we were hitting the ball flat on the face. Okay, so those were pretty simple. I'm going to show you what I wanted to show you on the first shot. Make sure that we're following through, staying down, and getting that cue ball to draw straight back. Sometimes we don't have a good enough angle to get the cue ball to roll out. So we're going to have to use straight draw or you could even stop the cue ball, but never put anything above center because you might scratch. Now here we're just going to try to slide the cue ball underneath these four balls and get to our duck. That eight ball that's sitting in the bottom left corner on the table. Okay, anywhere in the mid table is probably a good shot for that eight ball. And then I'm going to show you my bottom line right here. I'm still hitting a lot of that five ball now so we can get some reaction off of my draw. And as I hit that, the eight ball now is sitting on the rail on the far left. So we need to get the cue ball to run down there a little bit better so that we have a good angle for the shot. Right here I wanted to show you in first person what it looks like. I'm hitting slightly over to the left on the outside of the cue ball. I'm hitting pretty flush on that five but a little bit of an angle to make sure the cue ball will go away from our target ball. So that's the outside English and it's going to get a little bit of extra spin off the rail. That kind of helps when it makes contact with the rail. And then here we go with the lower version and you can see I hit much more lower left or lower outside English on this and I'm still hitting a lot of that five ball. I'm not trying to cut that in this time. I'm definitely using more of the face to get that draw and the spin once it hits that rail to get the cue ball to roll out. Okay. So if any of this was useful, or if you have any ideas or other suggestions, or if you have a shot that you'd like me to work out for you, let me know in the comments. Thank you.